Here's an interesting statistic and sobering as well. According to the American Heart Association, men who don't take vacations are 30% more likely to have heart attacks than those who do. For women, it's worse, 50%. A recent report by the U.S. Travel Association showed that four out of ten U.S. workers don't use all of their paid time off. One reason people say they don't take vacations is money. One company wants to help change that. Outski founder and president Greg Nicholson joins me now from Scottsdale, Arizona. Mr. Nicholson, welcome to Bottom Line. Thank you for your time today. Thank you, Mark. Sir, is this just a question of money? You know, it's really not. There's a, there's a large problem at hand here, and it's affecting the American people, it's affecting American businesses, and it's affecting the economy as a whole. Uh, when you're saying it's affecting the economy as a whole, are you talking about output? Are you talking about days not taken because of sick time? What? It's a uh, accumulation of all of it, you see. Um, people aren't taking vacations for a number of reasons, and it really fits into about two different buckets. One is people don't feel like they can afford it. It's a challenge where they don't feel like they have that money to set aside because it's not prioritized correctly. But more importantly is problems in the workplace. You see, people are scared. They don't feel confident in taking time off from work, whether it's uh, an issue with uh, feeling like they're going to miss that next uh, big raise, mm -hmm. uh, workplace resent me. Uh, so there, there's a lot of issues at hand here, and employers need to be educated about how to fix this. Mr. Nicholson, what are the economic benefits of taking time off? Well, when you take time off, it actually has a number of different benefits, from you know improving the family, to pumping money into the economy, to increasing jobs, to just overall happiness and being more healthy. Sir, a few months ago, you came up with the concept of 401 play accounts. What are they, and has that idea taken hold? Yeah, so 401 play, it's in addition to a company's benefits package or a health and wellness play. So basically, employees can set aside money from each paycheck into a vacation savings account. And so we, we link these vacation savings accounts to our online technology that allows them to plan and invite people, socialize, and bring these trips to fruition. Sir, have companies been receptive to the idea of setting up 401 play accounts for their employees? Very much so, very much so. You know, some companies we go into, they don't quite understand. They don't know that if, if their staff takes that vacation time, they're going to come back uh, happier, healthier, stress-free, the burnout's gone, efficiency goes up, productivity. So once they've been educated, yes, they, they welcome it very much so. Sir, one thing that we've discussed at length throughout the year here at Bloomberg has been wage stagnation. Most economists we've spoken to see a labor market that is gaining strength, but workers' salaries don't reflect this. Is it possible that a vacation is a luxury that many Americans just can't afford? We don't believe so. You know, there's been some studies out there that show if you can save passively, you know, things like a 401k and an HSA are a great example. If you can save passively for something like that and set it and forget it, then it will not affect your daily spending habits. It will have little to no effect. Sir, when you say save passively, though, I think you know as well as I do that somehow you know, people will find an excuse not to do that. How do you convince them that it's in their best interest, at the very least health-wise, to do this? You know, we, we think it needs to come from top down. You know, when I go back to the, the American workforce, you know, leadership and management need to tell their staff that it's okay and that they should do it, that it's encouraged. And once they hear that from the top, it gives them that, that okay. It gets them through that mental hurdle. And then they can start setting aside a couple dollars from each paycheck and make that happen. Okay, so is it possible then that those at the top in some instances just don't want to relay that message because it might be better for them and their bottom line if their workers are still at their desks working as opposed to taking time off. Yes, very, very much so. You know, the, the old mentality of thinking there is if we can get them to work long and hard, then we get more done, we make more money. But, you know, contrary to that, there's been a lot of research that, research that shows if they actually get that refresh, they don't have that burnout, they come back more productive, they get more out of their staff, and it improves culture, morale. I mean, it really, there's a plethora of reasons why they would want to do it. They just don't know about these things, and so we're trying to educate. Mr. Nicholson, how were you before you became involved in this movement? How much vacation time did you take each year? You know, I, 
I take a lot of vacation time. I've, I've, I've got my little secret sauce there, so you know I take that Friday <laughs> off and that Monday off, and I extend that weekend and try to do as many of those as I can with my family. Uh, talk to me then about what your family has said about this and your approach to trying to get everybody else to take time off. Have you met with any resistance from any of these companies or from any members of your family? Uh, not from the family. Everybody really likes the idea. You know, there's always that problem of, you know, we, we sit around the table, we all talk about taking that trip, everybody says, yes, I'm in, and then nothing ever happens. So, you know, this is a very welcome uh, technology and a product that we brought to the table. But, you know, it's not a, a, a one-size-fits-all. You know, it doesn't fit all businesses. Uh, not everybody is, is open to the idea of encouraging their staff to travel. So it's, you know, it's tough with some employers, but other ones, you know, they really get it. And so those are who we focus on. Uh, sir, we have a little less than a minute left. You know, uh, a lot of the term that's used uh, about the tech sector, Silicon Valley, is something that's disruptive. Do you consider this 401 play movement to be disruptive? We fully intend on 401 play to be very disruptive. <laughs> this is, to us, this is the next big thing. I got to ask you quickly, if you were going to take a vacation right now, I know you wouldn't go to Buffalo. Where would you go right now? You know, I haven't been across the pond yet. For the guy who knows all about vacations, <laughs> it's pretty sad that I haven't been across the pond, right? So uh, that's probably our next stop. All right, Greg Nicholson. He is the founder and president uh, of Outski, joining us from Scottsdale, beautiful Scottsdale, Arizona. Mr. Nicholson, thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Thank you too, Mark. Have a great day.